Hello YouTubers, I am here with Chris. He has agreed to be my first guest in my Cerulean Arena. Now if you watch the um, the update video, you'll know that I called Wednesdays the compete uh, to uh, compete and reward. Uh, that was just the kind of placeholder name for it. I didn't have a name for it quite yet. Um, so I kind of played around with names and then I decided to compete and reward. Anyway, I'm going to very quickly go over my team. I'm bringing Galvantula, Toxic Croak, uh, Gyarados, Configurgus, Chandelure, and Vanillix. Um, because where I am, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to look down and up at the screen a lot. And I apologize for that in advance. Anyway. We had a quick match and I forgot to record the audio, it didn't turn on, so I needed to quickly uh, re-record. Uh, so he agreed to rematch with me, uh, I beat him 4-0, um, so hopefully now he has an idea of what my team is going to bring, he can uh, make some workarounds and try to figure out what I'm going to bring first. Last time I led with Gyarados, I figure he thinks I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to switch it up and put Galvantula at the lead. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to kind of psych him out with that. So here we go. He is... Alright, so on his Facebook, which will be posted below, uh, he goes by uh, Christopher. So I'm guessing that he's just using a female's profile on here. And then, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use Thunder here and hope I can deal quite a lot of damage to this Solomons. It does appear that I am faster. <laughs> Apologize. Um, I, whenever I coughing, I missed what it said he did. But whatever it was, it, he must have missed because I didn't take any damage. So I'm sorry in advance for that. Alright, he's going for the protect. I should have went with the sticky web. Um, but, oh well. I don't know. Does sticky web get repelled if you protect? Alright, so here comes another Thunder. I'm planning on finishing off the Solomons. Which would be perfect. So down goes Solomons. Um, let's see. So. Here comes the Star Raptor. Alright, um. I'm not afraid of this thing either. I'm surprised he'd bring it. Unless if he doesn't realize that I'm probably focus sashed. Uh, he is a new battler, so. He could not realize that it's focus sashed. I outspeed with max speed, so. Um. Yay, me? <laughs> I didn't mean to sweep him this bad. Um. Alright, so, uh, he's going to bring out the Delphox, I'm going to take this opportunity, I don't want to stay out and fight a Delphox, so I'm going to switch into Gyarados here, and try to set up the rain. I know uh, last time he used Trick Room his first turn, so I'm kind of hoping he's just going to go for the Trick Room. Okay, he's going to go for the Flamethrower, I can take that. And then I'm gonna go straight for the rain dance and reduce any special attacks this thing wants to do lower. He's going to retreat, so that's good. Um, melodic. Alright, so he definitely knows I'm gonna go for the rain dance then. So, here's the rain dance. Now, I'm expecting him to use some kind of rain move. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to stay out here and take an ice beam either. So I don't know. You know what? Gyarados is kind of sack material on this team. It really is. So I'm just going to go for the aqua tail and go for damage. So I do not believe water resists water off the top of my head. I do get the crit. He's going to hit me with the ice beam. I'm going to eat that up. Um, 
Alright, so he's gonna heal some with the Shell Bell. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna hit him with another Aqua Tail and outspeed Melodic and take it out. So Melodic is no longer a threat to me. I was expecting water moves, but I guess Ice Beam makes sense too. But I am defensively invested with this um, um, Gyarados, both physically and specially. So it's kind of a weird Gyarados. I wanted it for rain teams and that has a little bit of attack with it to really give that oomph but all right so I'm faster than the slow king and which means he is now faster than me. all right so I'm gonna go for you know what let's go for a bite I'm probably gonna die here to Psy shock but Oh no, I live, and then I'm going to hit him with a bite. It's not powered up by rain, but it is going to be super effective, so there goes Slow King. Uh, Alright, so what is he going to bring next? Uh, he has Metagross, and there's one other Pokemon. I should have taken a picture or something. Let's see, Metagross, I'm just going to hit it with an Aqua Tail, he outspeeds, and he's going to take me out with a Sludge Bomb. So that's my first Pokemon down. I am going to see this Metagross and raise it at Configure Guess. And with that, I'm going to hit him with a Will-O-Wisp. Try to reduce his attack as much as possible. He has the trick room for me, so I'm able to outspeed because my Pokemon's attack is poop. I mean, not attack, but um, speed. He's trying to get the poison off on me, which I don't want him to do. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for one nasty plot, and then I'm gonna kill this thing. Alright, so he's gonna, I'm gonna get a free nasty plot, he's gonna send out Delphox, he retreated the Delphox. That's what he did. So, let's get that special attack boost, rain's gonna stop. I do have a special defense with this thing. The dimensions are gonna return to normal, and then I'm gonna hit it with a shadow ball. Alright, so here comes a Psychic that's neutral, but I'm not really that specially defensive invested, so I'm going to take a good amount of damage and then kill him with the Shadow Ball. Alright, so get some health back and prepare for this Metagross. And I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball, I'm not going to mess around. And hopefully this will be able to take out Metagross. Metagross is going to go for that Headbutt and get the Mummy on him. However, the Burn won't really let him do much damage, and, but I flinch. So lucky for him that I flinched. But I'm going to heal basically everything down uh, back to normal and... I'm pretty much going to call this a good game. He sees that my his special attacks are going to be the only thing that hit me. And that's really going to be game, I'm pretty sure, right here. So, unfortunately, he did a little better last time. But... I messed up and I forgot the audio, so... Good game, Chris. I enjoyed battling you. Hopefully, whenever you get better at EV training and IV breeding, we can have a higher level match because right now um, I brought Gyarados and such who are a little lower tier, trying to make it a little more fair. Uh, they're not lower tier, but I mean, I just 
I did I made them whenever I first started making Pokemon and so they had like the wrong nature the wrong attack uh, wrong specs I just kind of made them however I wanted to make them and I didn't really pay attention to what metas were out there what what kind of builds I should be running versus just going oh I can run a Thunderbolt with um, a special attacking Gyarados and I ran with that so <laughs> it was kind of interesting and I decided to bring that Gyarados was actually my first thing I bred so that was really interesting uh, I wanted to bring that back for my very first arena battle so thanks again Chris I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I am going to try to scale my battles, so if anybody wants to challenge me for a Wednesday um, Cerulean Arena match, tell me what your experience level is at competitive battling, uh, and feel free to reach out to me and I'll get you in here and we can get you uh, a shout out and a video. I also uh, will give you guys a copy, I know not a lot of people have capture cards, uh, I'll give you guys some footage of the match that you guys can voice over if you want. So keep that in mind for uh, people who don't exactly have a capture card but maybe would like to do like Lumio Station Contest or something um, to enter in and I don't know. So you guys can do that. Anyway, if you guys like this content, definitely give me a like. It helps me get noticed by other people. If you have zero likes on your thing or low views, people are tend to skim over it and it won't be picked up by Google as much. So if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button and maybe sharing the video, that'd be great help for me as a newish YouTuber. This is a new channel, but I've been around playing Let's Play for a while, so I'm still trying to get used to having the face camera on me. But I wanted to break that wall, as I said in my other videos. So anyway, uh, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye!